risk. I am not responsible for anything or whatever may happen to your phone. All I do know is that the following video will find a solution to what you guys are looking for. And I do apologize for taking so long to make this video. But again, it's at your own discretion, own risk. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So check this out. Most of you guys have been asking me how to force update your phone. Now, I know I've been saying I will do a video for it, and I do apologize for taking so long, so I want to take the time to apologize now for this, but I figure it's not really worth the force update, knowing that these updates are coming out monthly, uh, or sometimes it just comes out unexpected, so usually you would want to be patient when it comes to these updates, because as far as I know, updating your phone can be good, but also has some drawbacks. You know, you might like the way your phone is working now, but when it comes to these updates, once you update it, you're stuck with the new features, and if you have stuff that you did like on the previous update, there is no going back. So, let's just get to it, and again, I am really sorry about it, but let me just go ahead and show you guys exactly what to do when you want to just go ahead and update your phone knowing that there is a new update available, but you're not able to get it. So, when it comes to that, you're going to want to go on to settings. Once you go to settings, you go to applications or go to apps. Then you go to all. So, it's going to be under settings apps and then all so all apps it should be a list of all apps now once you get there you're gonna wanna go ahead and I don't know if this is actually showing uh, yeah for my best bet it's not really showing but if you look at it it should say Google services framework now what you're gonna have to do is force stop Google Google services framework once you force stop it you're gonna wanna clear the data you wanna go ahead and, and press clear data you wanna go uh, see this is kind of impossible to do it because it's too bright and I guess if I want to go ahead and uh, hold on actually I'll even do you one better if you if you guys bear with me Great, now that I've done all that, it's just impossible. Okay, so I go to all, and then I go to Google. Google Services Framework, all right? All right, so once I'm there, you can probably see it now maybe you could probably see it now but it says Google services framework you're gonna wanna press for stop so you're gonna wanna force stop the application now it's gonna give you a warning that if you force stop it it probably might not work right but it's not working right as is because if you know that there is an update for your phone but you're unable to update it the application is at fault so you're gonna wanna force stop it clear the data and then you're going to want to go ahead back into updates and then click software update. Once that happens, the application is going to restart itself back up. It's going to download a couple of informations that it's needed. You know, it's going to it's going to download information pertaining towards your phone, what what service is running now and what service is available. Once it's done, it's going to push out that update that you're so longing to get. So it's pretty, it's, you know, it's fairly easy. It's not that hard to do. Just remember, you're going to want to go into settings, then go to apps, then go to all apps, meaning the list of all of the applications, and then go to Google Services Framework. For stop it, for stop the application from running press OK after the warning and then clear the data once you clear the data you're gonna wanna go back into settings 
go to software updates and then go to update your Android device and the update should pop up. So if this actually works and it actually helped you out, do leave a comment down below, do like the video and as always subscribe to the channel and I will go ahead and pertain or provide you with more information towards your Android services and all other stuff. As far as the channel goes, I do post whatever I can, even gaming, so do check it out. I also have a Twitch channel, links down below. But again, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and I do apologize for taking so long to making this video. So till then, see you soon.